When TWRP was first released for the Pixel and Pixel XL, it was released in an alpha state because there were a few bugs in it that was preventing it from working like it should. For instance, I know that I was experiencing an issue whenever I tried to restore from an Android backup. And instead of doing the actual restore, it would delete everything on the phone, at least on that slot. This issue has been fixed with the RC1 release of TWRP for the, for the Pixel phones. So today I want to go back and show you how to do a restore on the device. So to start we're going to need to boot the Pixel or Pixel XL into recovery mode. And if you're not familiar with how to do this, be sure to check the description below this video as I'll have a link to the full tutorial that will walk you through this process. Once you are booted into TWRP, you should be asked for your pin pattern or password, assuming you have one on the phone. And then you'll be taken to the TWRP main menu. Now, as I've talked about before, we have simple backup and restore buttons. So we're just going to tap on the restore option. And then you'll get a list of all the TWRP backups you have created for this device. You can see I created one on December 21st as well as December 27th. So I'm just going to do a restore of the most recent TWRP backup. So you'll just tap on the one you want to restore. This will give you a list of all the partitions you have created in this backup. Now if you want to just restore certain partitions, you can go through and select and deselect the ones you want. For this example, I'm just going to show you how to do a full restore. So I'll have all partitions selected. Once that's set up, we just need to swipe the white arrows to the right to start the restore process. Now if you get these error messages telling you that a certain partition cannot be restored because it's mounted as read only, you just want to tap on the home button and then tap on the mount option. And then you'll want to go ahead and mount the partitions that you want to restore from. There's no need for us to mount the OTG partition because we're not doing that. And then you'll want to uncheck the mount system partition as read only. Again, we want to do this because we actually want to restore our system partition. So once that's done, just press the home button go back to restore tap on the backup you want to restore from and then swipe the white arrows to the right to begin the restore process and depending on how big your backup is which relates to how many applications, games photos and videos you have on your phone whenever you created the backup that will make this restore process either quicker or faster for example I'm restoring an entire 7.1 gigabyte backup so it's going to take a few minutes to complete And as we get to the end of the restore process, 
you can see that it has it's wiping a partition before it restores that partition from the backup We've done that with the boot the system the system image the vendor the vendor image the data and the EFS image once that's done unless you need to do anything else from the TWRP main menu you just want to go ahead and tap on the reboot system option it's going to take us back through the typical boot sequence And remember, this is going to restore your phone to the exact point that it was in whenever you created the backup. So any type of settings changes, installed applications or games, photos, videos, anything like that that have been changed or added to the phone since you've created that backup will no longer be there. And that is how to restore an Android backup on the Pixel and Pixel XL.